Well, when it's time for me to play my part, just say the word. So you're the register guy. Have you met Sylvia? Trixie sure looks nice. How's life without kid? How's the expo doing? I'm actually a little bit curious about this. You haven't met Grand... I mean, Sylvia yet, have you? My contact person? Not yet. Is he or she at the expo? I don't think so, and I'm pretty sure it'll be a she. Keep an eye out for Sylvia. Trixie sure looks nice. Are you going to encourage this relationship, Marty? I'm going to encourage this relationship. I don't suppose you miss uh, working no, for Kid Tannen. No, no, what did you do, Miss? Sorry, Mouse? Bob. I don't know how I ever got mixed up with an abusive, gun-toting thug like that. He even stiffed me on overtime pay. Okay, Trixie sure looks nice. I like Trixie's new outfit. Cost the expo $14.89, but it was worth every penny. After all, she's the public face of the expo. Techni, muse of progress. Yep, just a quick reminder that back then, smaller amount of money was actually worth more. Um, so you're the register guy. So you're the registration guy for the expo? And chief accountant, and paymaster. Hey, you're coming up in the world. And none of it would have happened if I hadn't responded to that subpoena. See, everything is coming up, McFly. I guess, well, more for you. Not for you so much yet. Think the Hill Valley Expo will be a success? I don't see why not. Why shouldn't California have its own high technology center? Um, hmm. I was hoping for a little bit more conversation You're doing there. doing what you're doing, Grandpa. Grandpa? Uh, that's our, uh, code name for you. Oh, ha! Funny. Marty, I don't understand how you're so terrible at this. I mean, yes, he is your grandfather. But right now, he does not resemble your grandfather as you knew him. He looks like what you would associate to Artie McFly. Stop screwing up, man. Alright. There's got to be something I've missed. Hold on. We're going to do the hints. I I've tried to refrain, but we're going to do it. Like, we're like halfway through this episode right now. Wait. What's a skateboard? We've got a skateboard. Can we... Can we get across town? Like this? Hang on, Emmett. Hope you're ready for a big breakup. Damn it. Interesting? Thanks again for your assistance, Detective Parker. Detective? What the hell is Kid doing here? Nothing criminal, I assure you. I was just getting a mind map of Mr. Tannen for our Okay, I was at the really Expo. worried there the for a second. The wouldn't allow Edna and I to stage a demonstration of the mental alignment meter with a violent felon, but this little baby is just as good. Okay, let's see now, what's next? Check the stew, sort the maps. Ooh, I almost forgot that. Edna really is cracking the whip, isn't she? Well, yes, but she's got my best interests at heart. Without her, I can get so distracted. Did she send you down here to check up on me? Uh, yeah, she wanted to come herself, but... She's busy too, I know. Well, you're a poor substitute for Edna's lovely features, but make yourself at home. Thanks. No thanks are necessary. Without you, I'd never be where I am now. In love with a woman of my dreams. And a mere six hours from my first public triumph as a scientist. Wait a minute. Six hours? Jumping Jehoshaphat, I'm running out of time! All right, what do we need to break? Odd looking printer, exit. Eh. Kid's mind map, Emmett's mind map. Okay, I'm gonna switch these. If I'm gonna take Emmett's mind map, I better replace it with another one. Yeah, kids. The mind of a degenerate criminal. That's Kid Tannen's mind map, as captured by our mind map helmet. You could tell he's a criminal just by looking at this? No, but when it's fed into the mental alignment meter, <laughs> Weird. Weird nothing. It's science. Alright, so. What's this? The mind map cards from the dozens of subjects I've tested during the last few weeks. I've got to get them sorted before the expo begins. Why? 
Edna's got this grand scheme to catalog all of Hill Valley citizens by their mental alignment. Isn't that cute? No! Oh, really? No! Are you crazy? No, it's not cute! Alright, so. Let's let's try and take that thing out of there. How does the mental there. alignment thing work? Here, I'll show you. Hey! The test subject wears this mind mapping helmet, which probes the brain by measuring fluctuations in skin conductance and electrical oh, resistance no. on the surface of the parietal lobe. Uh huh. We are gonna get a terrible when I turn reading. On the mind mapping helmet with this radio switch, the subject is exposed to a series of visual stimuli intended to provoke a series of positive or negative responses, as indicated by these lights on the helmet. Hey, is that? As the responses are recorded, they're relayed to this special typewriter, which prints out a punch card that represents the subject's mind map. All I see is a bunch of holes. Well, to you, maybe. But to our mental alignment meter, this mind map is nothing less than a peek into your subconscious. Observe, as I place your mind map into the M.A.M. I wonder if it just pops up with all of them. Aww. Play about. Is that machine calling me a slacker? No, your own physiological responses did. I'm not okay with this. I am not a slacker. Freaking Edna messing up things. Okay. Oh, the the mind mask back. Okay, I'm gonna swap these two, or at least try and swap these two. Tannen's mind map. If Emmett's map looked like this, I bet Edna wouldn't think he's such a model citizen. Or at least everyone would think the, uh, the experiment was a failure. I'd swap Tannen's card with Emmett's, but it's got Tannen's name on it. Right. You just have to generate a new mind map for Emmett. Okay, so, we need to look around. Come on, come on. Mental alignment meter. Stew pot. I've got an idea. He's currently wearing the helmet. Okay, um, what does this do? Let's turn it on. Why is it a picture of her? What's this typewriter do again? During a mental alignment test, it takes messages from the mind map helmet and turns them into punch cards. Like the one for Mr. Tannen over there. Seems complicated. Actually, it was all rather easy to put together. Once Edna gave me the idea. Sounds to me like you should be working on harder problems then. What? Uh, sorry, I've got to get back to work. Okay, so stack of mind maps, mental alignment meter, fish tank, fish tank, uh, oil can. What's this? That's a can of used motor oil, rocket fuel waste, and assorted chemical sludge left over from my abandoned rocket car. Gross. Accounting doesn't enter into it, but it is disgusting. Would you mind disposing of it on your way out? So... Uh, sure. I'm curious, does this mysterious liquid, uh, stain clothing very easily? I bet it does. Alright, so we have to create an accident, I think. Okay. First of all... Let's... let's try this. How goes the bacteria farm? Not so hot. The bacteria have kind of gotten out of control. I had to put a clamp on the nitrogen tube to keep the stench from flooding the lab. I can't help it. It's like my hand's moving on its own. Ew. Ew. Perfect. Okay. There's got to be other stuff in here. Valve, mental alignment meter. So this machine takes those little cards and tells you whether or not someone's a good guy or bad guy? Kind of. Actually, the helmet does all the work. The mental alignment meter is just a glorified arcade machine. So why not just go with the cards? And it says that people respond well to flashing lights and snap judgments. I can't argue with that. Every time I kiss her, I see flashing lights and lose all sense of judgment. No kidding. Yes. All sense of judgment. You're speaking the words yourself. Okay. Uh, record player. Ah, oh, that's the stuff. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. Nope, nope. Turn it off. No, 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 don't turn it off. This is my favorite part. I will break the machine, Emmett. Okay, we need something to go to red. What does this do? No, no. This looks like a thing. This is a shower. Peabody farm. Oh, this is Trixie. Generator. Ow! Perfect. Wait, did it just... Okay, no, it stayed there. Um, stew pot. Easel. Ooh. What's this? It's the placard we'll be putting in front of our booth at the expo. The scientist that caught Kid Tannen? A small exaggeration, but Edna says it'll attract investors. What do you think of the picture? You look a little... constipated. What? Edna said I looked intense. Yeah, intensely focused on taking it. I get the picture. Hmm. I'll have to find a better one. Unfortunately, there's a lot to choose from. Heavy. Extremely. Mother has been rather obsessive about photographically cataloging my life. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going to use the word constipated, but I guess that works. I was just going to say, uh, disconcerted. Okay, so, if that's red. Can I pull it out? According to Emmett, this thing prints out mind maps. But is it done? Do I have to turn it off? No. Okay. So I need to turn it back on. I feel like I'm on the right path here. How are things between you and your father? I'm kind of surprised he hasn't torn down your lab yet. Oh, he's still angry with me and threatening to cut me out of his will, but I'm hoping that the civic potential of my mental alignment meter will win him over. I can't believe you invented all this in two months. Well, like I said, there's not really a whole lot of inventing going on here. I just dressed up a $5 potentiometer with a lot of bells and whistles. But... Don't get me wrong, it does a remarkable job of telling whether a subject is currently liking or disliking what they're experiencing. But all the extra stuff about sorting out criminals from model citizens is mostly a bunch of hooey at this point. That's really good to know. If only there was a way to record this info... Damn it. No, wait. You, you, you used to have a tape recorder. Where is it? it? It wasn't in the inventory. Maybe it's in the car. Hmm. Okay. Is all this new stuff what you're showing off at the expo? Yes. It's our mental alignment meter. Mental alignment meter? I thought you were working on some sort of rocket car. Oh, the rocket propulsion system was far too unreliable, as that incident with Einstein proved. By the way, whatever happened to Einstein? I wish I knew. Anyway, I started tinkering with an alternate method of propulsion, but that was before things started heating up with Edna. Our conversations about the possibilities of applying technology to social ills pushed my research in a whole new direction! You know, I'm actually kind of curious. Where is Einstein? I don't remember what happened to him. Do you guys remember what happened to him? I might have to look back over some old episodes. Um, I can't go back, so I guess I'm gonna have to ask about this. What's a mental alignment meter? It's the most revolutionary piece of technology since the cotton gin. What does it do? It reads and interprets the subconscious desires of the human mind. Why would you want to probe people's minds? Why wouldn't you? Imagine. Being able to diagnose mental disorders with a flick of a switch, or detect the truthfulness of courtroom testimony merely by connecting a witness to a small portable device. Your machine does all that? Not yet. Frankly, right now the whole thing's just a gussied up potentiometer. But Can't with years this. of refinements and a whole lot of investors, the MAM will be able to identify countless psychosis and neurosis, alcoholism, acrophobia, Oedipal complexes. And? And then we can set about curing them, of course. Of course. Oh, such noble intentions anyway. from Emmett. Alright. You look busy. Why don't we talk later? Sure thing. Okay, so we need to turn that machine back on, but I we need to get a punch card in there. Generator. Stew. Hey Emmett, what's cooking? 
That's an old brown family recipe for Hassenpfeffer. Hassenpfeffer? Rabbit stew. The trick is to add the cumin an hour after the carrots. Take a whiff. Mm, isn't that just about the best thing you've ever smelled in your life? It's, um, powerful, yeah. I've got it on a slow boil for later. Okay, so, yep, that's what I was about to say. I'm assuming that elicits a positive response. Fortunately, the machine isn't on right now. Um, stack of mind maps. Mind if I... Go ahead. Yes! Okay, that's all I wanted. Oh. Ah, oh, that'd be Mr. Needleman's card. I'll just put this in the stack with the other hooligans. Wait, what? What? No! Give it to me! There's gotta be more. There's gotta be more that I can do. Is there more out here? No, that's just the exit. Hey, Emmett, I've got a... Whoa! <laughs> Whoops. What the heck? Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. Y your suit's ruined. Edna's gonna be royally PO'd. Wrong! What? When Edna gave me this suit, I realized that the probability of me keeping it clean was infinitesimally remote, so I spent a few hours whipping up this. I did notice a shower there. Whoa! W what was that? A chemical compound capable of wiping the grime off any surface. Damn it, you'll make a fortune. Not anytime soon, I'm afraid. Due to an inerrant instability in its molecular makeup, after 12 hours, the cleanser's component chemicals break down into a series of cloth shredding enzymes, rendering it unsuitable for commercial use. Wait a minute, does that mean your suit's gonna dissolve in 12 hours? Hey gods, no. The solution dissipates into the air after it's applied. But it does mean that after this batch of cleanser ages another 11 hours and 53 minutes, it would eat away this suit faster than a thousand starving moss. And that would be a crisis of unimaginable proportions. Why? Because this suit belongs to Edna's grandfather, who wore it on his wedding day. Poor guy was gunned down just a few years later. Emmett? Well, enough wool gathering. Back to work. Alright, I'm picking up the hints. You'll never mess up Emmett's suit while he's got that shower cleanser around. I know, but you can't let me go back there. Like, I tried to go back there, but you wouldn't let me... Because I... Ooh, now you're letting that me... cleanser doesn't seem very... Portable. It isn't, but this is a perfume bottle. Yes, no, I mean, yes, it's a perfume bottle, but inside is a concentrated dose of my all purpose cleanser. With a little luck, this should last me through the next 12 hours before its component chemicals break down into a series of cloth destroying enzymes. Clever. All right, we need the time machine for that. And I'm also going to seal it. What the hell is that? What? He wasn't looking in the first place! Sorry, I, I thought I saw a tarantula. He wasn't looking, you could have just taken it. Ooh, hey, Emmett, photo album. I've got an idea. What? Why don't I take your photo album over to Edna so she can pick out your new picture? That's a great idea. She's got a better eye for these things than I do anyway. Thanks, pal. Don't mention it. I have a really good idea. And I don't think it's gonna work, but... Hear me out a second. What if... Where is it? What if we picked out a photo from here? And we combined it with... No! Basically, I want to combine it with the... with this photo. Damn. I don't think a picture of my dad would be useful here. Essentially, what I'm trying to do is get Trixie to, to sign a picture of... of what she thinks is Arthur McFly, but really, it'll be the back of a picture of Emmett. That's what I'm hoping for. Um, okay. Oh, oh, eh. Oh, you know what? Okay. I'll admit I wasn't fully paying attention earlier to, to his test on, on Marty, but I think I have an idea. And you guys probably came up with this ages ago. <laughs> 